boys and girls, it's your host Craig. I'm doing a solo stream today and it's kind of like a live review as well. I hope you guys can look forward to this. I'm having actually a blast with this. Big thank you to Team17 who gave us a review copy to try out the game and stuff like that. Apologies about the loudness there. I forgot how loud the, uh, the volume of the start menu was. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, how are you, Room? Hello, how are you? Uh, I this game and get an idea what it's about. Just to give you a short summary of the game. It's a roguelike space building game. I know that seems very different from what we usually do on the channel, but I was very interested in this because I like my roguelike kind of games. And I found out it's actually a tactical... It's a really good immersion-based game where you build up your crew and build your ship and try to find a new planet for your crew. But it's not as easy as just landing on a planet. Like, there's a lot of different things that factor in. You just can't go straight away to a planet. You need a certain amount of crew and you need uh, technologies as well and you know overall you can continue going till you have a really big ship but you are limited by your amount of resources that you get your hands on and of course the kind of the enemies that you face in there as you see here i haven't been playing it too long unfortunately i think i've been about two or three days of playing it and i've gone through maybe three or four different ships some of them were casualties due to infestations and uh, piracy attack while others were Kind of me want to restart and resettle my ship because I wasn't too happy with it. Of course, this is a, it, it, you know, it's time consuming in a bit because you do a lot of resource gathering. And of course, you do a lot of planet side resource gathering where most of your, like the high amounts of the debris you're going to get are on planets. And you can also bring a crew with you or do it solo. But I would recommend bringing a crew with you if you have good weapons. As you can see here, we're at the corporation stat. So corporations are your faction, basically, that give you kind of a different start to each play. Right now we have General Ballistics, which is my go-to on it because I like it because, you know, to start off with decent, decent, um... Hello everyone, sorry, I'm just going through this. Uh, decent little supplies, but also Stahl Union, which they have the powerhouse of resource gathering and mining and whatnot. Which is Anthony Vergordo. Hello. Uh, right, but anyway. Looking at it here, it's a really cool game. Like, I wasn't expecting to have this amount of fun with it. It's a rough game. There's no difficulty on it. It just depends on which area of space you go and what kind of technology of the time. But one false move could either lose you all of your ship or, you know, only a certain part of it. I like to do kind of like with my recent experiences where infestations are not my best friends. Infestations are kind of the space spores of alien life or alien life that comes off a planet that got onto your ship somehow and set up. I'm just going to show you some strategies that I usually do. Which, a big recommendation is to watch the uh, How to Be a Captain videos, basically by Team17 on their YouTube channel. Absolutely fantastic. I love them very much. They gave me a good basis of the ideas of what's going to happen and so on and so forth. Uh, with that in mind, basically we're going to be running through this. Of course, anyone who joins the chat right now, I start off with myself and five other, well, four other members of my crew. I will name some of the chats, <laughs> chat people after the crew or maybe some of the team of Task Force 21. If you want your nickname put in and be named after a member of my crew, go ahead and just leave it down below. Uh, but we're gonna play this for a little bit. Let's see, RTC Sam. Hey, tried to game a few hours ago. Apparently I'm so bad I failed the tutorial. <laughs> Don't worry Sam, that's how I lost my first ship. Infestations are not your friend, but if you keep watching, I'll give you some tips how to survive right now. Um, all honesty here, I've been enjoying this game very, very much. It's been great. Um, big thank you once again to Team17. It's a small British game company that gave me the review copy as well and some copies for the team to try it out. And I have to say, I have to say it's kind of like a really decent, really good indie game on the market. And I hope more people find out about it because it's a tough roguelike and it's kind of a survival space sim as well. Which we don't get too many of them on the PlayStation. But looking on here, I'm just going to be popping in some technical stuff in the background. Sorry guys, we'll go right in. We'll name our ship after something uh, I enjoy a lot. And of course, if you want to join the Discord, I'm hoping Sam there can uh, get us uh, a bit in there. <laughs> oh god, that's so unfortunate, Sam. RTC Sam, that's one way to go. Hopefully I can give you some tips as well while we play. I am going to go with General Ballistics because I've been playing them a lot and I do like it. And each screen changed differently for whatever corporation you go for. So we choose Style Union. We get the planets and stuff like that. 
or if we choose superior genetics which is based around cloning we'll get a different kind of bridge and different kind of startups like you get a cloning lab level three i believe but style union you get more weapon based stuff which is absolutely awesome in my opinion remember folks if you're liking the live stream remember to leave a like and of course Give us your names. We're going to be naming our crew in a second. I am going to take some artifacts in with me. I have been playing this quite a bit. Uh, one of the artifacts I do highly recommend when you do unlock them is the security gates. They help with infestations. Only a portion of the ship will be infected. Possibly if the doors don't close on time. And I'm also going to be taking a classic weapon. But it's also part of my survival strategy. Because the ammunition is very cheap to make. Which is the L85. That's right. I found an L85 in space. <laughs> so it's been really good. Tell you what, we're actually going to bring a few more weapons in. I'm going to bring in this one as well because, you know, why not? And of course, there's always a very vital piece of equipment you can always have. I need to locate the, um, a specific, like a particular uh, group of people, but I don't think I have that unlocked. So I'm going to give myself an armor increase instead. So basically we have this. We have our menu sorted out. We have ourselves, the captain, and of course character sex if you want. It's down to you at the end of the day, and we'll go into it. I was young. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to watch this real quickly, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And so we tried. Gave our best. And in the end, we made it into space. We came here to prove our machines, our courage. We came for the competition and for the vanity. But we weren't ready yet. And the dream faded. It became a nightmare. It became propaganda and lies. But soon... Our old dream became a global necessity. We needed resources. We needed more space and more food. We needed a perspective. After years of digging in the dust of Mars, the inventors gave us wings. The hyperdrive. Our ticket to not only Venus or Jupiter, but to Messier, to Andromeda, and to a galaxy we call Alpha One. A galaxy full of bright suns and beautiful planets. A galaxy full of life. A new hope. An alliance of powerful corporations was forged, and Project Genesis initiated. The dream returned, and we became pioneers again. Arcs full of genetic material reached Alpha One. Their goal? Finding a new home for its cargo, and to initiate a new genesis for mankind. The best commanders were chosen to lead these starships, and like myself, you are one of them. That's right. Also, to go into the idea of a roguelike, your lives depend on how many members Welcome of your crew there are. So here we are. We have the USS Genesis. I'll probably name it something else in a moment. But we need to get the basics done. So I need to get some corridors going and get a basic design of the ship. Of course, it's a throwaway ship at the beginning. Because I always have an idea how I want to do the uh, layout of my vessel. Which is here. We have this like so. Uh, farming, I guess, is next. No, connection. We'll add a few more uh, corridors here three of them at least life systems a this greenhouse is, a greenhouse. is basically the concept of cultivating plants on board of our ship is central to the genesis project this is the refined storage module production ready materials leave the refinery and will be stored here keep an eye on our refined storage capacity if we the alpha quadrant is full of shipwrecks our tractor beam module is a fast way to acquire already refined material crew quarters each crew member needs a slot in one of these modules. If a crew member is sick or feels bad, you can most likely find them here. I'll tell you what, I'm a big fan of the Expanse, so we're going to call this the MCRA Donager, because that's the um, Martian warship that was destroyed in the series. If you haven't watched the Expanse, I highly recommend it. So we have 5 out of 20 storage filled, and we have a crew cabin 4 out of 5. So we don't actually need a crew ca cabin. Ah, uh, they did, yeah. It's called, like, the Captain's Logs, or the Captain's Guides on their official YouTube channel. I highly recommend them. They're pretty good. But if you watch the stream, you get to know some of the ideas that I got from them, and, of course, personal experience. So, we're going to have a look in right now. Which is, there we are, there's the, US, there's the MCRN Donager floating out in space. It doesn't look great at the moment, but I do have a big idea how to separate sections and help uh, avoid you know, infestations, and of course there is chances of your ship being invaded by pirates, basically. 
uh, humanoid invaders. Basically, there's some alien life that have, you know, humanoid bodies and weapons and stuff like that, and there's also humans that have gone rogue in this universe. Each, each ship and each corporation has its own style, so if I went with Style Union, I'd be wearing a gold kind of commander's uniform, but here I am, my name is now Lawson, I'm human, I'm a basic ass human, I don't have a cloning lab at the moment, because I don't have biofuel at the moment, or bio tanks, which like you build up from human uh, waste, so basically st uh, well, the one I went with was general ballistics, I get a shotgun at the beginning, and of course a laser pistol, Access but if you look in here we have a basic armory, so I'm not going to use the shotgun just yet, because I don't have a workstation, and I don't have that, I have like one stack of shells, and they go pretty quickly, so I have more laser ammo than anything. So we take a quick look at the bridge, of course you do shield, uh, you get shield modifications. These are our Robotniks, they help with refinery and depository kind of stuff. And of course here, but at the beginning of every kind of playthrough that you have, you will actually have to use something called a tractor beam. The tractor beam is a way to beam on, um, like basically debris that's already been refined from derelict ships and just floating debris in space. Uh, but I will show you a tip about that. A debris, bringing in debris actually has its own kind of um, flaws to it. Like you can bring on alien infestation or aliens that are stuck in the debris. So we have these underpaths here, which are the crawlways. Very reminiscent. This game gives me like great joy because it reminds me a lot of the Alien series from, uh, <laughs> you know, Aliens basically. It's fantastic, you have a motion detector. I was kind of hoping for more like the little beeping thing from Aliens, but you know, maybe the devs will hear that and pop, pop it in as a reference. These are the lithium barriers, which are coming in very good here. Uh, I don't like how I place these sometimes, I'm kind of pedantic with that, but hopefully we can get one that doesn't go too far, because I kind of want the range of fire. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good. That'll keep out anything, really. And then we have our sentry turrets, so it's always recommended to put a sentry turret here into your main cat catways. So it protects your under half so that nothing can crawl underneath there without you knowing. And of course you can pop up here and pop one here because we have no doorways here and it will protect the doorway in front. But also under the recommendation to stop spread of infec infec oh, sorry. an infection is to put a barrier door down. I'm just going to be a little pedantic with this, there we go. And there we go, we have that protecting there. So if anything gets in the room or kills the crew in here, or there's no ammo, it can't break through that and you'll hear alarms going off. You'll go down and you'll see something trying to crawl through here. And... Yeah. Basically, this is the beginning here. So I do have a crew that I can assign here. You do have your lives, but they can also act as your... Like, basically, we'll have Baron in here. And then we'll do some beaming of technology and stuff like that first. So we're going to look in here. We have our biosphere. This is our supply for our oxygen. Of course, you clone people and you change their genes. Basically to match the environments of different planets in case you want to colonize one. So you basically upgrade your characters each way. You can do it completely human or not have a human crew anymore. And have people, um, we have Hodge on the planter area now. He's going to take care of the plants and keep them growing. Of course, you can find different resources including plant life to improve your crew. Each crew member gets a different look when they're assigned to different areas. For general ballistics, I think they just generally wear all of drab equipment and have this as well. So actually, I'm going to pop in one more person in here because that will make things go quicker for this. And then we're going to head to the bridge. Um, here we go. We're at the bridge. This is the area we have in play right now. This is where we start. The galaxy is completely ram randomized every time. There are merchants flying around, other colony ships. And here is the location we are at the moment. See, this is our only source of resources at the moment, which is gathering up debris. So we're going to assign one of our guys on this. When we have two members of crew on board on the bridge, they'll automatically scan all planets and debris in the area. So this actually makes it go a lot quicker as well. And to be brutally honest, I'd say this is kind of a gem of a game. Not a lot of people knew about this game coming out for a while. And then, you know, I, I had it on my radar for a while. I talked about it in my Discord that I wanted to play it. And I'm very big, once again, big thank you to Team17 for giving me a chance to play. But the overall goal is to set up a refining area. So I want to get a hangar ready. So I'll be start working on the south section of the vessel first. On the MCRN Donager, because we're from Mars for some reason. Go Expanse, great series. I hope it comes back. 
And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go into the tractor beam room and show you some examples. So we can set this up on automatic and the team will do this themselves. And we have some certain planets with sites detected that gives us more technology and different kind of, you know, just the basic starter stuff that we have here. But we want this aluminium. Aluminium, all resources are actually accounted for here. When you have storage, every computer can show you a indication of what you have and what you don't have in stock from ammunition, atmosphere, deposits like your ship resources, weapon resources, your travel resources, and of course your plants for your biosphere, which is very good and very interesting at the end of the day. So these guys are currently scanning them in, they're doing it quite quickly. Maybe we'll get some borders and we'll show uh, how... Alright, here we go. Maybe we'll get something on board. Nope, not on this one, but you can get little infected, like, infected debris that will have like spores on it. And it's usually indicated by a green gas and it'll start growing stuff around the ship. If they don't handle that quickly, you could lose your entire ship. And now, let's see, we're going to speed up this process. I want to get onto planets as soon as possible for you guys. And work on the south section of the vessel. Resources collected. Okay. Uh, I would like to put two hangars on this at one point. It would be very helpful to have two hangars and two tractor beam areas because it will make work go along quickly. Oh wait, 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 there we go. The green gas. This indicates that there's an infest infestation on the ship now. It'll move around slowly. Here you go. You follow them basically. It gives you an indication of where they go. These can grow out of control if you don't take them out early. But also check around again. If you destroy one, usually another one pops up in its place. There we go. One got through the barrier. Check the hallways real quick. Yep, there's another one here. Resources is it gr collected. Is it growing on the dirt? No, it's here. Survival guide update. This is the crew quarters. You need these to have more crew on your ship. There's another one growing here. Uh, I'm really hoping this company brings out more DLC. I actually joined their Discord recently and been giving them a bit of feedback. Uh, this game is good. I have to admit, it's really, really good. Like, it's awesome. I wasn't expecting how good this game is. I think I got all the infestation at the moment. No, we have a life form detected. Ah, turrets dealt with. Ah, these little guys. Don't like these guys. They get into the vents and they multiply quickly. Like, they're small at first, but they do get a lot bigger, which it kind of freaks me out. If you like, actually, guys, if you like your, if you like Doom, you'll like the gunplay in this. I like Doom, so the gunplay is fast, and it's like, you know, you can be tactical with it. Uh, I'm just gonna, I really am paranoid, because that's how I lost my first vessel, because I had a lot of this green kind of stuff growing on it, and these humanoid kind of creatures that fire radiation, basically, were destroying my ship. And then I had the, I had the basically, they look like giant prompts, and they were, um eating my ship from the inside. They got underneath all underneath it. Uh, I lost the hangar bay, my engine rooms, and then it got to my bridge where it was my last stand, basically. Life form detected? No. Okay, good. Moving on. Uh, if you guys like this as a series after the stream and stuff like that, I will continue it. The Voyage of MCRN Donager. That would be fun to do. Uh, I'll probably reset it and redo it again, probably just at base value, and only have like the security gate really love those security gates guys you need to work and get them i think you can get them after your first voyage or second depending on how many infestations you have hello subscribe to pewdiepie or my name is jeff as his name used to be yes this is actually really really cool like i was explaining it there it's a um oh no bio fuel all right there we go we have another green infestation mark which will move around your ship if it's connected to doorways and doesn't have a, like a proper security lock on it. As you can see here, it grows and moves. It gives you an indication. Like the game is not as brutal as you think. When you get to higher levels, you won't get this smoke anymore. It's basically you'll have to keep an eye on it yourself. I'm just going to check the hallways again. And I need to check underneath the floors. It depends totally on what kind of uh, infestation you get. Resources collect. All right, let's check underneath here. I hate being underneath here when the ship gets bigger because it gets really creepy. And when I know there's an infestation, I, I panic. I usually set up a lot of laser turrets, not laser turrets, like uh, 
basically smart guns around. If you watched your alien movies, you have an idea what the turrets are like. I really love the design of these. It's basically, they slapped on an assault rifle onto a tripod with an auto-aimer and an automatic trigger to fire at unknown life forms. Un oh, sorry, unknown life forms. I really need to find out of that spread because I've never had like a small one like that. It's always always grown and gotten more violent over time. So taking a quick look again, just to make sure nothing's growing. Crew quarters, no. Okay, we might have gotten that one early, but there was still smoke coming out of it. So I am concerned. We may lose the ship if I've made a fatal error in judgment. All right, we have all the aluminium now. Uh, let's Welcome see. To the ship uh, what do we need, trips. basically? Here you build an uh, defense. Ship. Workshop. Uh, I only have five iron. I need copper, right so... Or if you I do want to set up the hangar bay them. module, so I need to get more also, copper in here. I recommend using this interface for orientation on board by accessing the, the lift module grants fast access to higher or lower decks of the ship. Alright, we're gonna have a... no. This is a two breacher here. Usually when there's infestation and it's spreading, I usually cut off a section and let that go. Because if it's too big, I will not save this. Uh, Rogue Franco, this is Genesis Alpha 1. This is actually a really good road like. If you want to watch the start of the stream where I talk about more of the details, you can and rejoin us in a bit. Uh, but of course, you know, let's see how this goes. Right, I'm working on this. I need to find... What do I need to find? Farming. Let's see. I need a hanger. So I need a lot of iron. I have five iron in my stock. I need ten for the hangar, and then I need five for the refinery and storage. Yeah, because I want to do planet fall as soon as possible, possible, and I need a deposit as well, so I kind of want to avoid using the tractor beam too much. So in this area, there's not a lot of iron, so I'm going to need to find some iron and then beam that aboard, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to look at the ship controls right now. Alright, so we have this little quadrant that we start on, which is the beginner area, then it gets more lower areas, higher and critical areas. Like, even, like, having sunstorms will actually affect your play. If you don't actually have... Sorry, my favorite part. Yeah. But anyway, if I had to give any general feedback about the game right now, I wish, to do, I wish there were more modules. Like, the crew does take part in firefights if the infestation gets too bad, but I can kind of wish there was a module dedicated to for ship security, you know? Um, there's an idea about having, like, spider drones or something like that, or a spider drone that patrols through the vents while you have a team of two or three patrolling the decks. Uh, in each area, then you can have a whole bunch of security. So you basically have that immersion factor as well. Of course, when you have like normal areas for crew that don't have jobs, they'll go to cantina or the bar, or you know their quarters and roam around the ship. And it gives the sh it gives the ship life. Basically, it's really good. This is really crazy to say that this game was made by tr I think like I heard it was made by three guys basically, and it looks immense. Uh, it's beautiful as well. It's on the Cry Engine, I believe. Anyway, we have more debris, we have 12 iron, and then we have 11 lithium. Lithium is my best friend when it comes to these sh uh, shields. I only have two of these at the moment, and I need them for both of these areas. Yeah, the vents, it, you know, the spider drone will be at, like, I don't want it to be OP. I want it to be, like, an early warning system that detects an infestation, patrols to it, and gives the ship a warning. It can be destroyed, and you can rebuild one. With a um, with resources on your ship, but your security team will move to certain areas if there's um, if there's like infestation or an invasion on the vessel. I'm really paranoid because I didn't see more toxic spore smoke happening anywhere else. I really have to check the vents now. I'm gonna go from the bridge and make my way down. You can access the under parts of your bridge rather quickly, but I would advise using some tactical placements of access tubes close by or in between. So you can get down there and quick and check out the area. Alright, we have iron coming in that will give us the basis for our, um... I'm sorry, I get par paranoid in this. I've had, like, awful infections. Like, imagine giant ticks that are, like, heavily armored and they basically destroy all these important nodes which keep your ship functioning. And also they spread and grow, like, a pustule or nests around and eggs. And they move around. And there's different types. It's not just one type. I've had two different types, which my only description is it's like a Cthulhu looking squid monster with giant yellow eyes that roams around the vessel and eat it. And they get bigger. Like they start off small first 
but I think they'd be height wise they'd be up to your um up to your knee at one point how big they get and of course you have the humanoid styled ones as well I'm making sure no biohazard just come through here I'm gonna make this go a lot quicker each one once we get about 10 I say about 10 I need to find copper as well so we're gonna be doing a few of these transporting beams ones but this I have to say this setup is pretty decent for the beginning so we're gonna look at the basic layout I've gone for a long corridor which will be crew area and operations and then we'll have a medical wing storage facility and then we'll have the refinery and hangar area at the back and of course that gives me the options to build turbo lifts where if I want a second habitat it will go directly below this and then we'll have a second floor of what we need underneath as well and depending if our crew is not human at this point I'll probably have a 50-50 mix because if you have half your crew as a different race you unlock the next part of the superior genetics and the next part of the you know people like general ballistics if I research tree weapon schematics I'll unlock their tier 2 level if you have like a hundred marauders on your ship and you kill them you can actually unlock their style of missions I don't know if you can attack other ships yet I really want to find out but having a hundred marauders on your ship at one point in one playthrough is very very difficult because I've lost at, at least like I've lost two purposely my my first ship which was the tutorial error ship was lost due to me not knowing knowing about these if i had these little barriers down i would have kept the infestation that hop on from the turbo lift and not the turbo lift the tractor beam out of my vents and i have the guns as well which is pretty good you can you can bring these planet side which are very helpful for defending an area which i hope to show some planet side stuff in a moment did we get all the iron already how much iron did we have no oh i need more storage okay farming uh, I can build an iron now I have 11 how much a storage cost tree okay yeah tell you what storage is necessary and I plan to keep all like a secondary fine storage area near the cockpit sorry the bridge of the MCRA Donager if you don't know that it's the Mars Congressional Republican Army not Navy MCRN I put the army down okay and Donager is the name so fair enough for the army now not the Navy as life should be I guess but we're gonna move on and get the rest of that iron and if we can find some I need to go to the bridge and see if we can find any copper in space copper is very helpful for my next idea how to get this done all right let's get over here and site location site location hyperdrive we already have that one there resource location I want copper ore next we do and the next little star cluster here has copper ore which we're gonna go to after we get the iron Get the basis done for planet fall. Do a planet fall and see what happens after that. MCRN was what I was supposed to write, but I had MCRA in my head. I'm not used to running a ship, folks. Like, I'm used to being on ground combat all the time and playing video games, so... Being the captain of a vessel, especially one you can lose in any mistake and not keeping an eye on everything is fine like in certain module build you actually get decontamination chambers for your deposit areas so you can have your robotnik's bring them in they'll decontaminate the stuff making a bug or an infestation creature pop out and then you can kill it all right i'm waiting for like a bigger alien to come on because i want to show you the aliens the turrets are doing too much of a good job maybe i'll show you the ship when it has an infestation i won't look after it and i'll just let it happen but yeah, once again, going back to the corporation facts, each member of the crew gets different weapons. The beginning ones, they get laser pistols or laser rifles. It should be the MCREU for your expeditionary unit, seeing that is your job. That is my job. I'm the expeditionary uh, crew. That's right. We're clones, basically. Uh, but that given, we'll just talk to Ida for a second, your ship's AI. The Alpha Quadrant is full of shipwrecks. Our tractor beam module is a fast way to acquire already refined Resource materials. Materials will be directly moved to the ship storage. Resources no deposit collected. and no refinery required. Okay, awesome. We don't need a refinery for that. Refinery is for the, the actual ore you beam off ships, not off ships, off the planets. So you have this specialized tool that lets you pick up biomatter and resource ore. And of course you can find schematics and stuff like that all around the galaxy, but don't get me wrong, like, you can go to a different part of the galaxy, but if you don't have a shield, you're gonna have a very hard time. Because some areas have sunstorms and... What the hell is that in my corner? 
Oh, it's just it's just some resources that were useless to us, I guess. That's lovely. Oh, oh, we have a life form detected. Ah, it's a tick. Let's have a look at this thing. Oh, okay. I need a bio tank. Oh, I I want to set that up in the medical area when I get a chance. So each section from the central uh, hub, which is here, up above where the bridge and operations will be, that'll be the north operations wing, south refinery. Uh, East will be the storage and biotank storage, and west will be northeast, southwest. Uh, west will be the basically will be the crew. No, we have crew quarters up here. No, it'll be crew quarters there in the west. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I run my ship with basic design. So it's a two-level design, meaning that I get more space and more energy as well if I build small. And uh, those ticks, by the way, they get a lot bigger, like huge. And each area has different kind of ones. Like with those ticks, you can get DNA to build up a different member of the crew. When I get a cloning lab, I'll show you guys that. Because I don't want to make the ship too random looking, I guess. Because I'd like to use this for the series or lose it during the series. And I don't want to use... Uh, yeah, we're going to lose this. We're <laughs> I know I'm going to lose this. And we'll also have a tractor beam section and a hangar and stuff like that at the rear here. Which will be very helpful. So, let's see defenses I need the security to get so I literally need just tree copper and then I'm ready to go and then I have it oh yeah the engineering deck will be below the habitat area so we'll have that as well but people can actually spawn on board oh yeah no I looked at this before that's not a hive it's it's rocks it, it's just rocks I don't want to use too much ammo sap I've get, I've played a few times. I I've realized that they are rocks, and uh, I keep forgetting about them. So I get freaked out when I see them. Unless you're not talking about the rocks in the corner, then I'm really concerned where you saw that. Don't make me concerned, Sam. The, the mistakes. I don't want to have to say mistakes were made during this stream. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, overall, this is a great roguelike if you haven't gotten the chance to play a really decent roguelike on PlayStation. Uh, there are a good, decent few uh, roguelikes on PlayStation, but this one's been really good, and it looks beautiful as well, which I love. Unfortunately, sorry about the quality, folks. It's 720p at the moment. I am working on getting a hardwire into my room, basically, and we'll have that there. No, it was rocks. Okay. Yeah, it's rocks. Wait, did you, are you telling me you saw an infestation somewhere? I'm not seeing this. Alright, don't, pa don't panic. Alright, anyway. We do have enough iron for... Did they complete their job or are we just out of storage again? Yeah, we got everything here. That's lithium. We, are, we get to come back to these areas and beam these up as quick resources for sulfur, for ammunition and weapons. Lithium for energy and different uh, modules as well, but we did find our copper. So we're going to get some copper, go to the hyperdrive system online, and boom. Of course, you get a basic version of the hyperdrive. With the module afterwards, you get more a chance to put more hyperdrives on it, and you use uranium to do bigger jumps. It's usually very in a... Sp oh, I didn't know it's screen flash. That's pretty good. I love the Robotniks. If anyone can tell me the actual meaning to Robotnik... I'll be very impressed. If you've ever watched uh, World's End with Simon Pegg in it, you'll be able to know that. So, Okay, storage. Alright, the crew... The Well, the crew's currently working right now, so we have, like... You see there, they're scanning him himself. He's walking around at the moment, but he'll stop at a computer and start the scan. So I'm just going to speed this up. <laughs> you, paranoia is not your best friend. In, well, it is your best friend in this game. Uh, because there's been times where I've literally lost my mind looking for infestations, but it turned out my security gate locked them out. That's why I love the security gate. Alright, let's see. There we go. We actually have the copper we need. We have six, so that's going to be helpful for two things. Let's speed this up and get the copper right now. Like, you need platinum. Everything you need for shipbuilding, and it gets difficult at times, so you need to really level up your crew and your weapons to do better areas. Alright, no fungal spore. You know, being playing this for so long now, I kind of recognize which spores are which. If they're like little egg clusters, they'll be little crab kind of things. But if they grow on the wall and large... Ah, there it is. Let's see what it is. Uh, what kind of cluster it would be. If they're greenish and stuff like that, it's going to be like a humanoid type um, alien. 
that don't go into the vents. Are you right behind me in the dirt? Yeah, there you are. There it is. Kind of looks like mushrooms. This, this will harm your crew after a while. We'll get rid of that. Just check the hallway. Always check the hallway. I don't like this. When I can't find them or see more of them, it has me filled with concern. Uh, let's check here just in case. To the last man. That's your death screen, by the way. Like, I've had moments where I was the last man on the ship. I've lost my entire crew. And there's just hundreds of crab-like creatures moving up and down my decks looking for me. Damn it, am I really... I must be catching these too quick. I need to check the vents. Like, it's paranoia. You need it. You need to check everywhere where there's little crevices and where the gas can go and start to grow. Um, I feel like I should check the habitat area, just in case. Ah, uh, yeah, concern. Concern. <laughs> uh, I think I caught it. I don't... I, I'm just going to check the habitat area, just in case. Uh, looks like nothing's growing in here. You're very fast, by the way. Like, you get different suit upgrades Resource as well that you can acquired. find on planets. I think I have enough copper now for my idea. So to give you an idea of what I'm going to do, I'm going to go onto the defense systems, get the security, the security gate up and running. security corridor serves as a protection from alien infestations. Build it strategically to protect important modules from threats. There we go. Now we have this. This will automatically lock down if there's the detection of a infestation, but to put kind of double security on it, I kind of put another two walkways here. Well, let's make it three, because I know I'll get a decontamination at one point, and then I can just delete this and have decontamination, and then have the deposits in these hallways instead. But yeah, anyway, let's get the farming on the way. We need this one hangar. The hangar is necessary to acquire resources, plants, or other interesting All right, from farming. I need a refinery, we so need we need literally one more iron to get a refinery. Okay, we can do that quick. We can do that quick. And we'll go back to the base area and go on the planet side. Uh, look at that. Iron, 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 but wait. Yeah, I know, but we need to process them. I don't have a deposit even. Do I have a deposit? Farming. Ooh. Welcome okay. to the deposit module. Raw materials from the hangar will be moved here by carrier robots. Make sure that we always I'll keep have the deposits here deposit on this hallway available. next to the security Otherwise, gate. The carrier robots will leave farmed raw materials in the hangar, and further harvesting will not be possible. Okay, now we just need four iron, so we're gonna pop on this iron ore. Head back to the bridge and look for an area that has Essan Muhammad. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, now we have lots of areas with iron, but depending on which areas are which, they may not have debris iron. Of course, once I get the ship down, I can assign some crew there. So I'll be assigning the tractor beam crew to come down planet with me. Okay, we're actually going to start naming some people while the, tra the tractor crew people are actually working. So we have Baron and wait. Okay, these are two, these are these are two female crew. Okay, depending on who's here, if you're ma male or female or anything else, it gives a heads up of what you want. And uh, we'll go to the first man on the bridge. Okay, uh, pop in a good nickname, folks, because it doesn't actually get all of the name details down, unfortunately. It has to be a certain amount. So since someone's going to be on the crew here, uh, Berger is his name, but we're going to give you the rank of a lieutenant. So you're a flight deck lieutenant, and get, let's have a look at some names here. Uh, ooh, who are we going to do? Who are we going to do? I'm looking through here. Dank memes, your name is too long. We have Spectre 77. Um, let's see. Tell you what, we won't use a rank at the moment. We'll name the first one. Uh, <laughs> really, Sam? Really? <laughs> okay. Sam, Sam, looks like Sam wants it. So we're going to pop down Lieutenant Sam, our deck crew. I might bring Sam planet side with me now. You're not having an easy day, Sam. 
Uh, right, you then. Let's see. Quarters. No in the quarters. I do need a cloning lab and a bio tank soon. So we're gonna get that iron that we desperately need. Please tell me. Ah, uh, we do. Seven iron. That'll do it. So we'll get past this pretty quickly. Uh, Cameron Mays is joining us. Hello, Cameron. Hello, hello. Sorry about the early live stream today, folks. I won't be playing too long because I'm still on my busy schedule at the moment. Ah, oh, just the ticks. They're fast. And there's another infestation. Spore cloud coming on. Let's have a look at it. So, a little mushroom once again. Where's the spore cloud? I, uh, sometimes they don't pop up and it makes you very, very paranoid. I feel like we're okay. Because I got it as it spawned, but I don't want to risk it. So time to check rooms. Room clearing. Crew quarters. Each crew member needs a slot in one of these modules. Like, little details about this, your crew can contract these diseases in this game, and so can you. So, in certain cases, your crew can turn hostile against you and start attacking you and killing other members of the crew and spreading that disease. Which, unfortunately, you will actually have to... I wouldn't say it's like Mass Effect. Um, basically, you can be other species if you clone yourself and mix your DNA with alien species basically there's humanoid kind of species and then there's like really like you know there's rock people that's my best way to describe it rock different kind of arachnoid uh, species that you can mix into your dna that gives you different benefits and looks of your crew of course with that they breed different atmospheres so having different plants and like you know biosphere plants that on your ship will help improve that because if you don't actually have the uh biosphere that they need they will die all right more ticks Yeah, this tool, very helpful for bringing up, bringing up biomass, which helps you with cloning and healing. I don't like those ticks. That's how I lost my first ship. <laughs> Sounds like heresy. Uh, the god emperor would forgive, uh, for, forgive me for demonstrating this in a simulation. Uh, but giving the idea it's a really handy way to get better benefits and different looking crew as well which you know generally i've even found a race of people that are basically holograms but they are semi humanoid semi like life like the inside their holographic bodies they actually have vital like you know vital what's the word organs and stuff like that and blood so it's an interesting design on that i think we have enough for the refinery now oh there we go bigger one there we go. These guys get bigger. This is a different species altogether. I think this is called the crawl. Uh, the tick ones, I have no idea. I think they're arachnoid. This is the crawl. These guys, they they get bad when they get bigger. They sound cute right now, but well, you don't have to monitor the welfare. Well, you do have to monitor the welfare. The crew is basically your lives. It's a roguelike. You don't have a normal re. You don't have a normal respawn. You need a crew so you can keep being crew, and so on and so forth. All right, that's it. We don't need that anymore. We have enough for a refinery. So I need someone to come planet side with me now. Uh, Sam's been at the bridge, so he's going to come planet side with me now. Go to the security gate. Very helpful security right now. I'm going to leave it open for now and get the crew ready. And then we're going to need, let's see, farming. Beautiful. Refinery. This is the refinery. Raw materials will be enhanced. We have a refinery, a refinery right next to our deck. Time. We have the deposits out here. Refining speed, assign engineers to work in the refinery. So the tractor beam crew. Uh, the tractor beam crew are going to be coming here now. No resources on board right now to refine. Okay, I know. I know. I just want to assign my crew to it. So, let's see. Uh, Job oh, God. Hodge Job and Baron, then. Uh, then we're going to put the unassigned member to the biosphere, because I like the idea of having... I don't know if the biosphere actually you know, works by itself now. You need to plant them and take care of them. 
but you can just have your crew do it then so it's automatically done all you have to do is come to the computer and do that all right let's see let's get job assigned lieutenant sam you're coming with me the planet side but we are going to grab certain things from the um from this very particular area that i'm going to need i'm going to grab this we don't have any chances of infestation oh there we go perfect example we have the crawl we have the dna that we can mix with the human dna to make a different one you know it has good resistances but lowers it, the intelligence so that's basically your you know speed of using a computer or you know schematic design blah 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 but let's move on i'm not going to make crawls this time around they were the first people to die on my ship and all right everyone is now in the section they need to be i'm going to leave this door like this of course uh in a refinery area i've learned that two things will keep you alive this will keep you alive blocking up vents like so like so so you don't have any crawlers going underneath now we have two turrets that we can put here Oops, didn't need to fire. Wait, where's the other turret? Oh, I must have left it in the tractor beam. Grab that real quick. Oops. Now, moving on, we're just gonna head back to the tractor beam real quickly. If you're joining the stream right now, thank you very much for joining. And if you want your name on the ship crew when I get a bigger one, remember to leave it in the comment section after this, because I will name members of the crew after people that leave the comments. Uh, also, it needs to be a short name like Sam or Jones or Chavez. Uh, th there have been some of the names that randomly come up. Oddly enough, my first time playing this game, my name came up. So I was playing as myself. He died immediately on a planet because I was not thinking very well. So that gives us a good defense on the floor when we need to go planet side. So Sam, come on down. You're going to be on the... Job assigned. It does, yeah, it does, but it's weak. But right now, I don't think it's too weak for planet side, and plus I have Sam with a shotgun, because he's with general ballistics. So yeah, IDF Team 6, hello Shimon, how are you? Uh, right, let's see, yes, I played a game on, but on, does anyone play Wildlands Tactically? Yeah, Canadian Sniper, join our Discord. We do have some people that play Xbox as well in our community play section. You can go over there and ask them. You could probably get a tactical experience with them if you're looking for that. So yeah, I came across your YouTube channel looking for Wildlands, and I like what he does, so I'm sub. Thank you very much, YouTube Thunder God. I'm going to see if I can name a member of crew, because Thunder God would be a great name for a member of crew. All right, we're going to go planet side. Uh, ooh, we need a good planet. Don't need lithium at the moment. Sulfur would be a good one, but I don't have a... Uh... Let's give an idea of what the planets look like. We need something that we need a lot. So iron is what we need, and this is quick enough to show you. Tundra Guide could be the name of my ship. No, I think the Donager is pretty good. Remember the Donager, folks. Because that might happen soon. That might happen very soon. Uh, infestations are not hard to clean up, by the way. Remember that. Uh, you can catch them early before they get too big. But you see there, I have my security gate now. Alrighty then. Well, right now I'm planet side. Sam is going to work by himself and gather up the one. Here's an artifact right now, which is called an obelisk. Which are pretty handy for getting information about the universe. So it takes about it takes a few seconds to get it. Shotgun shells are always helpful. 20%. Oh, life form detected. What do we have? 40%. Ah. 60%. I need to build a bio tank, folks. I need to work on my medical wing soon. Of course, I will be working on this ship off stream, just getting resources, basically. But even then, that has a risk. Oh, Sam. Ooh, alien ability. Alright, awareness. That would be pretty helpful for a lot of things. What do we have here? Shrooms. Okay. 
That's a different kind of biosphere by the looks of it, so I haven't actually run across that one yet. Shrooms. Gain knowledge about the universe and distribution of the species. Okay. What do we have that's... Oh, God! Uh, if you're faint-hearted about bugs, I guess, you will have a bad time. I actually am not terrified of spiders, but I don't like them. Like, they freak me out. And there are some spider like oh god. Okay. Don't hoard around me, you little Oh no. Okay, that's too many to deal with at the moment. Sam, we need to go. Seventy-one health, okay. I like these guys because they give me ammo back. And I also don't have enough... Uh... Run away. Behind me. Oh, it's the ticks. Oh, seven bio. I know I haven't have a clone lab or a bio tank up and running yet. <laughs> How do I get out of this chicken shit open? If you like, actually, funny thing is, I did a playthrough of it, and I did actually name one of my guys uh, Hicks, and he died, unfortunately, on a planet, because we went to a critical area. And he sometimes the names of clones that you make previously that died do come back. So you'll actually have, like, let's say, uh, Corporal Hicks coming back at a certain amount of, uh, you know, clones that have been made. So, giving an example of the depositories, and also a really big security tip on these. Uh, in your beginning areas, for the love of God, make sure you do like a quick maintenance look at these guys because you can have problems. I know I'm risking a lock right now, but I am going to unlock the workshop area. Always pop an energy barrier on your depositories because they do actually have little hidden creatures in them. And if you don't keep an eye on them, there's the Robotniks coming in. Uh, they will deposit creatures to your ship. But luckily enough for me, I do have the security gates here, which is fantastic. I also have the refinery, so that iron will be refined into a refined material, making it better for shipbuilding. Uh, yeah, also, once again, just a quick little announcement. We are going to be running a Battle Sim Milsim, a Battlefield 4 Milsim soon. We do have a server, which is under the name Real Time Commander, since being run by one of our teammates, Shimon. And, of course, his group as well is known as IDF Team 6. We also have Task Force 591. And we also have Task Force 21, which is the real-time commanders group. Um, we'd like people to join us, so remember to join our Discord. And it's in the comment section down there at the moment. If you're watching this later, I will leave a link in the description about the Discord and a little mention about the Battlefield 4 section. So, moving on with the live review. We have a Robotniks. The Robotniks originally started on our bridge, but they'll take up a host here and disconnect and charge and stuff like that. But now we have the refinery stuff going on. Do we have anything in the refinery yet? Not yet, because the other Robotnik is coming down to take up its place, like so. I am doing a big risk doing this, but it also shows you a survival technique. If you do have another uh, lithium or a workshop ready, pop a refinery, oh, or pop a energy shield here because they can come out of your refinery. Uh, YouTube Thunderguard. Yes, of course, I still play Wildlands. We do Wildlands streams every week. Uh, I just have not had the greatest amount of time to do a proper milk sim yet. I've gotten a very busy schedule all of a sudden. And um, we'll be hopefully coming back to that soon. 
I'm hoping at least on Sunday we will have a proper milsim done. We're going to be working on that, some more uniform videos, and of course an overall review of this. I'm going to be starting up two mini series with Ace Combat 7, and... So as the game? Oh, this is Genesis Alpha 1. It's a live stream review, we're going to be showing off the basics and some of my survival tips as well. Uh, I will need to get that workshop up and running. Uh, being a man I am, I like to have two different sections for workshop areas. So I keep the vital areas like, you know, refiner and stuff like that here. They'll go into the, the deposit outside and then go into refinery and then go up to the storage. Secondary first storage is near the cockpit, not the cockpit, the bridge, which is important. And then we have the security gate here to hold down any infestations. So we're going to get a workshop done. And of course, we're going to look at some different weapons that I got in my previous play of it. So let's see, we need defenses and we do not, we need one more iron. <laughs> iron is like my best friend, but when I had so much iron. Uh, if you check our previous videos, we've done immersion based around Wildlands Future Soldier, but we will do the official mission as an immersion as well as soon as possible. We currently have to do that in ghost mode because once you go ghost mode, you can't go back really. Uh, right, so we got information. Let's head to the middle section where we were and get some more iron, go to a different planet and see what kind of species are on that. Certain species drop down like weapon bits, so you can actually unlock and research new weapons. Of course, I want to get a workshop in there. It's pretty basic at first. And the more people you have working in there, you have more a happy crew. And, you know, I don't, I don't know if the crew can actually mutiny against you. But for now, I'm going to do this since both of my Robotniks are now currently in the hull, hold of the ship. I'm going to lock this gate. This is beautiful for keeping out infestations. Speak for yourself, Doug. Well, it totally depends. You need a good team, my dude. Um, you need a good team that are work well with you and communicate. And of course, you know, that's about it. Well, generally, I would say it's more based after like 1980 sci-fi, which then Halo extends from that as well. Like most sci-fi places are based after this. I literally need one iron to get the weapons workshop up and running. You see with this, there's some feedback that I have to give to the game now, um, which hopefully the... I hope it reaches the devs at least. I will be talking on Reddit about that as well. I do have a Reddit now, guys, which is called Real Time Commanders. Uh, which I will be checking out the Genesis Alpha 1 Reddit. Damien Lord Ramos. I'm actually going to call the next guy Ramos because I feel like I have a, need a Ramos in my crew. Well, that's a good thing. A tactical retreat never hurts. And also, don't draw attention to yourself. Uh, we've had moments where I've died in ghost mode, but I still love it. I still play the game as well, you know? Okay, we have a site around here. Sam's gonna work on this depending on what it is. I might have to come back and help him. There's some sort of indication of what it could be. If it's grave site, you'll have like a little cross and a helmet on a grave. Life forms detected. Let's see what. Oh, the turret's working overtime right now. What can I. Space crabs. Sam, we're working a shotgun. Thank you, Sam. Good job, Sam. Oh god, no, not yet. Like, I want to try do that as the basic of most basic uh, Ghost Recon go like ghosts, basically. I want to try, yeah, look at that. See, so Devil's a grave site, which is hard to spot unless you see these little dots coming on. So this is a different Genesis crew member that came on the planet but died, so they left him here. Uh, but Sam's on his own now. I still have 58 health. I really need to get a bio tank in the medical area up and running. Come on, give me something good. A crew member has been killed. All phases complete. Oh great, medical research. That will come in great help. Oh god, it's coming for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. You didn't get them this time. Uh, I think it's time to leave. 
Did we at least get all the iron? No, we didn't, Sam. We couldn't even do one job. Oh, that got bigger. Yeah, they get bigger, folks. Over time, they get a hell of a lot bigger. Don't worry, Sam. I saved your genetic data. You'll be able to become back as soon as possible. I'm sorry, Sam. Okay, uh, our first casualty on the list, which I will actually, if I do this immersively, I will remember, I'll write down every name of a casualty that we have, of everyone who's rostered on the list, and then if we lose any, I'll make a big wall of remembrance at the end of the series when we actually terraform a planet. How about that? I'll do that. That actually would be a lot of fun, and of course, subscribers join in on it. I'm going to watch this, because it's our one bit of iron that we need. Goes out. It makes me, it confuses me why I don't put the deposit in the refinery area. That would make a lot more sense. And it'd be a lot quicker processing stuff. Robotnik goes back out, goes back in, goes back out. Okay. See, I can't send a crew by themselves. Uh, looks like I'm going to be working on, on the medical wing first. Though, Sam, I think the space bugs ate you. They eat everything. Alright. We get the refinery going. We get that last bit of iron on. And then get the new area that we want. Which is going to be the basically the security armory. Which is going to be good. Let's see. We have crew, life systems, defense. This we now have a workshop. workshop. Here we research and construct weapons. Okay. Basically, weapons development. Everyone loves their guns. I'm not going to lie. Of all weapons I find on a desolate planet... From the 21st century it has to be this one uh this is my go-to to do this now open and close so uh yeah you're more than welcome to help but we'll probably work on it by ourselves this is my go-to weapon because the ammo is cheap to make and uh oh yeah it's not here it's in my artifact section which is on the computer Weapons, assault rifle. It's the Her Majesty's rifle, the L85, which I found on a planet. So we're going to swap that out. It has 200 rounds. The ammo I need to make right now. If I have any sulfur, I'll make some. So given an idea of that, I have no sulfur for bullets, no for energy. Lithium, sulfur. Lithium is actually pretty helpful for the energy bull bullets Access we need. Granted. So I'm going to pop that rifle back. I took the shotgun by accident. Access granted laser rifle so yeah giving you an idea right now you can build your own ammunition and every time you unlock a different kind of weapon you'll get the needed supplies for that so at one point i had a flame char thank you l2 rptv oh yeah made it i catched it at a stream of rtc yeah i've noticed that a lot recently they don't really publicize our streams it's actually a common occurrence apparently so i'm not happy about that so hopefully you guys will see this later and join us on that uh, but working as it goes now, like you can build more Robotniks, which will help you gather more resources and stuff like that, and turrets, uh, energy barriers, with barriers that you need with lithium, and of course you have different weapons. So we have the laser pistol, laser rifle, the power shotgun, which you unlock with the gen general ballistics group. I found the L85 on a planet. You also have the minigun, <laughs> and they're the classic good for bigger, tougher enemies. It's really good for little 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 clusters of enemies I would do that but there's something called copyright which I can't do that <laughs> so I'm not allowed to do that administrator retracted reda redacted uh, wouldn't the world police song get a cop yeah that would be it yeah but I love the idea. Thank you very much, RPTV, for loving the videos. Uh, remember to check out our new stuff as well. We're always trying to expand. And of course, we'll get through Insurgency Sandstorm and hopefully Arma in the near future. We hope you can join us on our tactical stuff as well. Even join us on Insurgency for PS4. Uh, also, you can join us for Battlefield 4 as well, when I said earlier on. 
Uh, we do have a server. It's called Real Time Commanders and so on and so forth. But you can join our Discord and join through that group as well. So far, so good. If I had to give you an honest opinion about this game right now, we'll go to the bridge for this and get a very scenic look of space. I can put my weapon away. There we go. Okay. This game literally was built by a very small team, and it's a beautiful game. We do listen to that kind of stuff when we're not streaming. We talk and have a laugh after every stream. But giving you an idea of what this game is like, is tr it's truly like a gem of a game. If you didn't think you would like it, you know, if you like building stuff or you like using your guns or mining and all that kind of stuff, this is a game for you. And a plus, it's rough. It's hard. There's no easy mode. Like, one fatal error could either cost you your entire ship or some of your crew. There's points where I've lost sections of, like, my areas here and I've been blown out into space because of a, you know... Uh, any chance, like, any chances that happening will happen. It's a 50-50 game. It's like, it's all down to look and how careful you are or how reckless you are. And overall, my basic, like, basically, it's a gem of a game. I would highly recommend playing this game. Because ships grow over time, you have different layers of different kind of ships, which you can build a conventional looking one, or you can go with just j basically a flying... Ah, uh, yeah, I would, <laughs> I would say No Man's Sky with hardcore mode. Uh, but at least with this, you can actually build your ship and uh, enjoy it more. And given that it's a small team that made this, I really hope they go bigger with their DLCs and even updating the game bigger. It will be amazing. It's an indie company that did this. Both AAA title games don't even hold up. How real is that L85? Does the mag fall out? It's, um... I should answer that quickly. Most weapons use the Doom logic, which you have a, a overabundance amount of uh, ammunition, and then you run out of it. So it's like the and um and the idea of that is to have fast gunplay and stuff like that. You know, it's fun. You know, it's a game to relax to. Like, not really relax. You will go insane at one point. But I want to check if I have anything right now which I need to do medical research. I do need a medical bay. But I also need... Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Alright, we're going to do quickly right now, which is going to be the east wing, which is going to be medical. Security gate. Always make a security gate when you unlock one. Corridor access. One. Two. Okay. Uh, crew. Oh, shit. No way. I ran out of uh, power, but that comes down to this space travel. I don't have my reactors? I do. I need iron and copper. So, basically, when you see me the next time, I'll probably reset this and do this as a small series where we go through the, you know, the blows of being members of it. And of course, if we ever lose members, it's one life. Like, you know, you die in this, you won't come back, kind of thing. So every time there's new members of the crew clone, they'll be renamed and they'll be like an honorary kind of um, those who have fallen list. Yeah, actually, no, you, zero fives, like, yeah, space engineers, but it's not as big and as, you know, well, it's not as blocky as space engineers, I guess. You know, most ships can look different, most ships can look the same, most ships are basically flying arcs, where you bring your people to a new world to live in, and it's really good, and those, li those people you bring, your settlers and your crew, are your lives you need to keep them protected like i wasn't a great example where S lieutenant sam died on a planet side which brings me up to my other feedback i don't want the crew to be op and stuff like that beginning level clones are always going to be a bit weak but you generally over time with clone development you can have stronger and more health uh, health uh, engaged uh, members of the crew which we have crewman is alisa i can't i can't say that name for the life of me i'm so sorry folks uh, on board doing her thing, which she'll keep an eye on the green and like, you know, all the green that we need. Except me, I always come back. Yeah, Sam will have to come back. Looks pretty good as for worms. <laughs> there are worms, by the way. There are giant space worms or leeches. I don't know what they are, but they terrify me and I don't want them to get into my vents and I don't know what kind of, how bigger they get, but it'll be terrifying to be honest. Uh, all right, let's see. So basically, yeah, it, yeah. It overall, my overall enjoyment of this game is the fact that it's hard. It's hard. It's tough. It's engaging. 
some things can get a little remedial after a little time, like a little repetitive. But generally, when you need something really badly, you tend to explore further and further into space. Tell you what, we're going to get a infestation going. Yeah, we're going to get an infestation going on the rear of the ship. So, security deactivated. I'm going to... Oh, no. I want to reactivate security. security. No. Security Wait, am I at the... Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm on the wrong side. We're basically going to lose the ship. And... No, I'm in the medical wing. I really need, like, I usually have signs named at this point telling me which side is which because I get lost in my own ship. So we're going to leave that closed because there's nothing there. And we're basically going to let it happen. We're going to just leave it here and let an infestation grow. You going to open? Yeah. And give you an idea of that. Alright, here we go. We're at the hangar now. Uh, I'm going to deactivate these as well. Like, I want to see how far an infestation grows on this ship. So I'm going to assign two to the fine refinery group here. Because I plan to lose everyone. I'm not going to keep this ship. It's just to show examples and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to have... Job yeah, assigned. tell you what. We don't need the greenhouse. The plants are growing, they're fine, they'll probably die over time anyway. So basically you don't actually have to go on to every planet fall with everyone. So we're gonna launch the harvester. So we're gonna launch this harvester to this planet. We don't have to get this on. If we have high level members of the crew with good health and abilities, and I hope they can add in where we have better weapons, it would be great. This would be important for me anyway. So that ship's going to fly off now by itself. It takes about maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds for it to come back. But basically we're going to let an infestation happen. So hopefully it builds up a big enough infestation. They'll go into the ducts and start, you know. I'm going to let the little green smoke stuff happen. Uh, I like I'm. It's kind of like this, the hairs in the back of my neck are going up at the moment. Thinking about an infestation on my ship. Which, I really don't want the octopus looking creatures on this ship. They freak me out. And then the giant ticks. But everything else is fine. Oh, no, God, no. You can leave that stuff there. Um, given that we have these, I am going to put them... Yeah, we're going to lock this part of the ship. All the crew is in the rear of the ship now. Take this down. There we go. The crew comes back with all the supplies as well. Totally depends on the crew survival as well. Harvester has returned. There we go. Like, we have these guys here that come off on the ship. Any more of them? Yeah, we do. These guys are the worst. Like, these are these can be pretty bad at times. Alright, they're going to the depository. We didn't get an infestation. I wanted an infestation. Those guys are pretty big. And terrifying as well. These guys are going to do their job, bring it to the depository. Then we're going to launch them again. See if we can get an infestation going. And see how bad this will actually get. Like, at one point, I want to be able to retreat all the way to the bridge and hold out there. Like, my last defense. I want them all to come straight up, not down, straight up. So I look at it, I'm going to open it up, let the infestation take hold, and move away. Tell you what, tell you what, we're going to do this. We're going to delete the tractor beam. Alright, there's a tick. I'm going to let it go. Go into the vents. Go. See? It's going off now. It's far off. God. That was my mistake. My mistake. I'm looking for that green smoke at the moment. Ah, there we go. This is what this looks like when it starts to grow out of control. We have the humanoid looking. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. This is happening quicker than I expected. Okay. 
The crew will deal with them, but if I don't kill off the spores and the pustules, it'll keep growing. You see, they're already regrowing back. Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Like, we have three members of the crew in this section. Look at that. Look at the size of that. This freaks me out to no extent. Oh, freaks me out, my friends. Look at this thing. That's how big they get. They get a lot bigger. There we go. We have the green spores coming back. We have these coming back. Any more over here? All right, crew member is sick. I'm sorry, Everissa, you're not going to be able to leave. They say what, the spiders are the least of your worries. Like, she'll try to go back to the security gate, but I have a lockdown manually. I'm the only one that can open and close it. But she'll stay here. I actually want to see the events of what happens with a sick crew member, because they do get sick over time and then with that if they die or you have a medical research center you can actually pick up little biomass waste that they drop and research those diseases but I don't have a medical research center open at the moment so connections corridors farming tractor beam okay we're gonna pop the tractor beam down here now oh there we go disease sample shroom Jeez, you'll drop them and you'll be able to research the disease if you have a medical center. That's how in-depth this gets and I really love the, the passion that the team put behind this. Of course giving not criticisms but feedback and suggestions is always welcome to a team that's newly started and got their game on PS4, Xbox and PC is an impressive achievement. It's a very good game, I have to give you that. Do we have any more pustules growing? I tell you what, do we have any debris in the area? There we go. I saw a lot of it growing in the refinery. Yep. You can stay there. Like, look at the extent. It's growing at an alarming rate right now, and it emits off this gas. That'll hurt you. I'm going to take that down as well. You guys are going to go to the planet. And bring on more aliens. Harvester destination set. Harvester destination set. So we're gonna check on Arissa right now. She's sick. See now more of them are growing. I'm kind of hoping for more of the bug ones, I guess, because I want the under part of the ship to be uh, infested, to be honest. That will be fun. So I'm going to leave these guys to their own devices down here in the rear. Um. Alright, Arissa, you can, you can come up to the front. Security activated. Security activated. So I'm going to leave that to their devices and come back in a bit. But we're going to look for a high level area where there's a cosmic spores going on and see if we can get the f ship um, infested a bit quicker. Harvester is on planet. I forgot about that. Arissa is going to be coming all the way up here to the quarters. So she's going to lie in bed and try to basically heal over time and get rid of her illness. So we'll leave her to the devices. If she dies, her body can actually be an incubator for um for diseases and stuff Security like that, activated. and maybe even the possible. Security deactivated. Remote activation. Uh, yeah. So go go in here again. There's a tick. It's coming after me. I don't want you to come after me. I'm going to leave you in there. You en you enjoy life, Mr. Tick. Oh god, there's more ticks. Life 
Oh, I think we have an infestation on the ship. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna leave these guys to the devices and then come back in a second. I'm sorry, I'm freaked out by the ticks. See, now they actually can come true. I'm leaving the crew to their deaths, basically. But yeah, we're gonna show an example here. I'm just making sure none of them got to the front yet. Barrier strength 350, that should be fine. Security activated. growing in here? Where are all the ticks gone? They already damaged some of this stuff, so... Yeah, if you lose power in an area, you start to lose strength and stuff like that. Okay, crew member reported sickness. Hodge and Baron. Sorry, Hodge and Baron, but you're going to be uh, test subjects on this. Let's see... I don't like the humanoid infections. This is what annoys me. I wish there was proper infestation. So yeah, all the ticks are gone. Where are they gone is the question. Let's see if we can pull in more debris. You see, when I'm not trying to get an infestation going, this happens where it doesn't happen. Resource acquired. Oh, just I just wanted infestation to happen, like spores that grow up on the ship and start infecting the crew. Okay, the crew is really sick now, so I'm going to check out what's happening with them. They've gone, so that's fine. Disease added to research. Okay, that's cool. Shroom sickness. Okay, if they die uh, like this they will become incubators, like I was talking about uh, previously. So let's check the bunks right now. Yeah, that's just, this is exactly what I want to happen. I want to see the infection take hold. But the security gate's doing a really good job of blocking out the infection. That's the thing. Nothing growing in here yet? Oh, Damien Lord, welcome back. Uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to destroy the ship, folks. I'm so sorry. I want the infestation to happen. Alright, tell you what, we're going to go to a heavier area, which might have a cosmic spores which are terrifying. So hopefully we get some on the hangar or the bridge. That's where I set up my last stand. And then the stream there on a good note, I guess. So we're going to be doing some a few jumps over and over again. Uh, hyper jump. Once you get a better hyper drive um, schematic and you can buy them from merchants or find them on planets, I would highly recommend finding your stuff first. 
If you have like an excess of copper or aluminium or anything like that, you could actually get a better. Um, I suppose for science, I could check, but I don't want to risk the fact that my crew could die like this. Oh, God damn it. They're all well again. Yeah, they're all well. Yeah, if you don't have a medical bay, I forgot. If you don't have a medical bay, this counts as a medical bay as well. So we're going to pop them back into the refinery area. Get them both work. Wait, one of them's missing. How many crewmen do I have left? No, they're all alive. Okay. I tell you what, have them in the tractor beam area. Let them work on that. Java sign. Let's see how the infestation's going over here. This stuff doesn't turn into aliens, I don't think. It just gives them a sickness. This is the shroom sickness that they've been having. And then if we go over here, it gets worse. Worse and worse. I am going to repair the nodes because it gives me an identification of when there's uh, an infestation happening. Oh yeah, that's seeping through here. Oh. Come on, where are those ticks gone? That's what concerns me right now. But there was a little army of ticks at one point. Did we get all the sulfur? We must have. Okay. Oh yeah, we're trying to get a cosmic spore. I forgot. Okay, let's go on. Uh, the crew will get sick again, so I might pop one of them in the refinery and then leave them in the hangar bay without actually sending them off anywhere, just seeing how long it takes for them to die from the sickness. Java sign. They're going to go down here. And we're going to look for, you know, basically the, the area that we need to go to. So, Lay for Arissa, I think, is coming down. Yeah, Arissa. Issa? Issa? I can't say her name. I apologize. And let's continue on. Okay, you can move down. Keep going. They're now going to be locked down there with the infestation. So I think this is the higher level areas on the right. Usually when it gets to the bottom, it's more hot and like, you know, critical areas are usually on the right hand side. What do we have? Ah, cosmic spores, exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna let them infest the ship. All right. All right, folks. This is where I make my last stand now. Where are all the lithium stuff that I had? Oh yeah, the demuter section. The ship. One of them's been destroyed. I need to go to the workshop. Okay. I'm waiting for more of the area to be attacked right now. Gotta leave the security door open. Security activated. I suppose we should test for science. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, shit.
Oh, yep, they do off a poisonous gas. I forgot about them. That's gone into that security gate. Yeah, so the body of the crew turned into instantly turned into a pustule, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Java sign. Java sign. Alright, we're gonna lead them go by themselves to the planet. No, we don't have any planets, so they're gonna tell you what, we're gonna have the crew defend. On storage. Oh shit, that's close to the bridge. Perfect. Java Java signed. Storage. Ah, there we go. That's growing nicely now. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's getting better. Ah, it's the space octopuses. I don't like them. The longer we stay in the cosmic spore area, the badder it's gonna get. So I'm gonna see if I can go deeper. I just went in the merchants, actually. Look at that. That's growing. Alright. The ship is also a hood as well, so you can actually check where the damages are happening. I believe it's this corridor here. That's where they're growing inside of. They're growing inside of the corridor here. Hopefully they'll spread around. I was kind of hoping to have this area as a concealed area. And just have the general infestation here. Open the doors and just let them come on true. But our last defense is going to be on the bridge. Yeah. rounds do we have left? We have 510 rounds. Actually, we get a look at the area that's blowing up. Oh shit, okay. That's what that happens. Alright, Baron. We are now Baron. New captain promoted. This is how your life works now. The more humans you have on your deck, the more chances you have to live. See, there's a lot more violent infestations that could happen. Connections. This uh. module grants access to the service tunnels of power re-established. Power re-established. I want to keep this going till like we get a big infection. Check out the rear of the ship as well. Life systems operational. Oh, 
Where's the workshop again? That's at the front of the ship. Ugh, those mushrooms were useless. I was hoping for a barren infestation. Doors open. Don't have to worry about that. Life systems operational. See, they're gonna move around the ship now and start attacking vital areas. Like we lost a big connection here, so we're gonna get the uh, corridors back up and running. Power reestablished. Because I want the infection to spread, basically. All right, let's hyperdrive into a Fremen or an invader area. Warning. Prepare for hyperdrive. See, low danger on this. Not why I was looking for here. Yes. Danger is low on the right, so we're gonna get as far as we can before the ship blows up. But I'm trying to get the infection done, show you what it's like to get a bad infection infestation if you don't take care of it. That's a real important thing there. Once again, this like the jump capability is a lot better when you level up more and get more equipment and schematics because you can actually unlock hyperdrive systems, as I said previously. So you can jump more, but it costs fuel, which is uranium. Warning. Prepare for Asteroids? Warning. Yeah, for let's go into the asteroid belt. Let's see what we can see outside. Some planets. That's about it probably takes a few minutes for them to yep there we go see this area is now losing atmosphere so we're gonna leave that alone and repair it with what our dwindling resources are left I really want to get to a critical area where there's a better cosmic spore because then uh, it releases more creatures onto the vessel Yeah, so sorry folks, like every time I play this I played this game normally I got Ah oh, there we go, mechanics. Where's the workshop? We got some sulfur earlier on. Pulling back. If Raz is still watching this, uh, you may know it's a very familiar weapon. I'm about to use. Okay, got that out of the way because I wanted just to show off that bit of basic stuff. Um, of course, if you like the live stream, of course, the review as well. I hope you guys actually could get your hands on this game. It's quite good. Ah, uh, definitely worth worth the time and effort you put into a ship. But if you like to see a proper kind of, um, let's say, a proper kind of play of this where I run the ship, the MCRN Donager. Uh, leave it down in the description down below. Also remember to join the Discord. We welcome one of all to join us. We have a few new people joining us as well today. Thank you very much. Canadian Sniper and Junkyard999 for joining the Discord today. 
and of course we hope you can enjoy it and join us as well so we will see you let's see what i got i, I got one discovery item let's see shrooms thank you return to the menu and yeah that's pretty much it guys if you like the live stream i hope you enjoyed it it was a lot of fun to do i want to do a more in-depth series on it and help you guys out maybe some tutorials as well and that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time on rtc see you guys have a good one